Hi, I'm Ben Teleport, and today I'll be walking you through our Terraform provider. So our Terraform provider is available under our guide section. We're going to cover setting up the Terraform provider on Mac or Linux. I'm on a Linux host. We're going to configure the user and roles using the Terraform provider, which is I'm going to be using Teleport Pro, which is our hosted version, um, but it also works with our enterprise and open source. Some prerequisites you need Terraform installed um, has to be above zero. 12, I'm using 0 0.15, and you have to have Teleport installed. Teleport will be comprised of um, Teleport, TSH, which I'm going to use, and Tcuddle, which is our admin tool. Um, so let's just check these. Terraform version. Yep, I'm with version 15. So I should be good to go. So first up, we're going to create a folder to hold some temporary files. And we're going to install the, um, next up we're going to install the Terraform provider. And we're just going to curl in it. We've already had this compiled. And next up we're going to expand it, set it up. And teleport Terraform. Next up we're going to create the Terraform user. We're going to create a YAML file, which will create both the role and the user. The role will let this user have control over all of the resources. So I'll be able to create tokens, update um, OIDC and SAML connectors, also create trusted clusters. So everything that you need to sort of create and bootstrap this cluster and all CRUD operations upon that. And we're going to create this user and then assign this user this role. So let's do this now. Okay, so I have that file. So we're gonna now use tcuddle create. Before we do this, I'm gonna log in to my uh, Teleport Pro instance. So the URL is Acme Demo, which is the name of my organization. Teleport.sh is for anyone running Teleport Pro, which is our hosted version. So let's log in and just get my second factor. Okay, so you can see I'm now logged in. Everything's sort of enabled. So let's create this user. So it's tcuddle create and that YAML file we've created. And so we've now created the role and the user. If I actually come in here, I can refresh this. And you can see now we have the role and the user has been created in Teleport. So if you run into this impersonation is not allowed, when using tcuddle or sign, you may need to also create a terraform impersonator.yaml, which will allow you to impersonate the terraform user. And then you can assign this role to the current user, and then you can use that for obtaining the certificates for the terraform again. The third step, we're going to create the terraform configuration. We're going to create the standard main.terraform, which is a standard, like the standard file for creating uh, Terraform instances. This is a large file, but let me uh, copy it over and we're going to go through it now. So we're requiring the Terraform teleport provider and here we have some important information that we need to change. So we're going to change the address of our teleport instance. In my case, this is the same as the proxy I logged in as. So it's uh, acme demo.teleport.sh and then you need to set port 443. The identity file path, this is the one that we've already defined as far as the auth sign. And we're going to do a few things. We're going to create a test role and it has a few things. So it's like the max session is 30 minutes TTL and everything is sort of defined. It can do a few things. It can um, View a few node labels and it's denied login anonymous. And then here we create the resource, the teleport user. And that sort of wraps it up. So we're going to create this new user. So we're going to initialize 
Terraform. It's been set up. You can see that it's successfully installed the Terraform provider. And now we just need to do Terraform plan. Oh, it looks like actually I didn't run the auth sign. Run this now, and you can see we are using uh, tcuddle auth sign. It's a file format, Terraform, and it's valid for 10 hours. So what this means is if I wanted to run some sort of automation, I may want to create this longer, or I may want to do something to always sort of get a new certificate. But if it'd been 11 hours in the future, I would have to come back and get a new certificate for the Terraform identity. So quick Terraform plan. And here you can see we're going to create um, a test user. And this uh, teleport role, Terraform test. So now we can run Terraform apply. So you can see that it's been created. Everything's been created. So if I come in here, You can see that we have Terraform test user that's been created, and we have a Terraform test role here, which is only valid for 30 minutes. So this brings me to the end. You know, because it's Terraform, we can just clean things up. Um, we can destroy these two roles. Oh, it's still in use by user, so I will need to uh, let's try again. Okay, it's been successfully destroyed. And so that brings me to the end. You can read more about impersonation in our docs. If you want to learn more about the Terraform provider, it's available on our Teleport plugins page under Terraform. And here we have some instructions if you want to build it, compile it yourself, and we have um, other helpful docs in our examples main. There's some information here that's commented out about how you would create a GitHub connector, a trusted cluster, an OIDC connector, etc. So that brings me to the end. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in our GitHub discussion board. Thank you.